That's Jetty here. Let me be the first to congratulate you on taking the initial steps towards building your own profitable Facebook ad campaigns. Look, I know where you've been. Building profitable campaigns that generate a ROI positive outcome for us is not always easy. It takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of time, and it takes money. In this video series, I'm going to show you some of the tools and techniques and strategies that I use that's going to help save you frustration, time, and money. With over a decade experience in this field, I have learned a thing or two about building Facebook ads. This video series is built around showing you how and why we build those campaigns so that you have the confidence to build them yourself. Nothing that I do is really secret or, you know, even some you know, even coming up with taglines that are uh, really catchy or awesome, you know, it, it doesn't matter. What matters when we do these things is have an approach to it that we can take time and time again so that when our failures happen, and, and they should, and I like to have them happen, and you should too, because that's where we learn. Even failures with our Facebook campaigns leads to data that we're able to take and use in order to find where we can have that success. Where is our nugget of gold that we're prospecting for? So, kind of like a gold miner goes out and prospects land, digs in dirt, and then pans and sifts it to see how much gold that might be per you know yard of or meter of, of dirt. Same thing we're doing here with our campaigns. Facebook is a really great channel to use for advertising. It allows us to really customize features, dial in audiences, and be able to provide them with relevant information that they're going to be interested in and able to use and see value in, as well as then become buyers of our, whatever our product or service is. Whenever we build Facebook campaigns, we first want to focus on what is our objective. And what I mean by this is defining what it is that we're looking to have for the user to do. Whether it's to become a lead, or for them to buy a product or service, or for them to uh, look at some content on our site in order to you know, make it engaging. Maybe if we're looking to do some SEO type work, uh, wherever it is, we have to have an objective before we even build a campaign. Some of the other things that we want to take note of are the, the target audience, and that's huge. Too broad of an audience is, is not going to give you the quality of leads that you're looking for. It's going to result in a high cost or a high CPA per lead. And if you don't know what CPA is, obviously this course is built for you. CPA stands for cost per acquisition. And in the case of talking about leads, we talk about the CPA of that lead being X amount of dollars. Um, most of you are going to say, well, what is my CPA? I would like to know what that is right now. And it all depends uh, because one of the things you're not able to do on that is to replicate other successes for your own because you don't have all the assets in place that they have. And certainly they've done all the testing. Though it is good to look at your competitors to get an idea of where to go, trying to replicate them is, is not always a great idea because you're not going to see the same uh, type of you know, replication scale. Now, the other things we have to look at are effective or non-effective ad copies, such as your ad, ad, uh, ad texts and headlines. These are very important. And split testing them, which is one of the most important things that we should be doing with all of our ad campaigns or every element of building a digital marketing campaign or uh, a lead generation campaign or a sales funnel or whatever you want to call it. Everything, every element has to be broken down. And in this course, we're going to do that. We're going to focus on, hey, these elements uh, combined with these other elements produce this result. And that's going to be important once we get into it. Some of the things and one of the most important things that I find with doing Facebook ads is the, the image or video that we're using. Because Facebook is a really visual experience. Um, the way I like to look at it is the, the idea or the um, concept behind an image is to, uh, it's an attention grabber, is to get you to stop in your tracks, pay attention to what I'm trying to say, and get you to look at the message that's going to deliver on a pain point that you're experiencing in order to see if you're a prospect for that type of pain point by getting you to take an action, in this case, to be a lead and to come and to provide your information exchange for uh, you know, a free ebook or whatever it is that I'm going to offer, a video series, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that we have to look at every element, split test them, and we have to do this time and time again in order to find what works from what doesn't. 
And a lot of times, and, and I like to put this most, those that come out with winning campaigns, you know, out of the gates initially, they don't know how to replicate the process. <clears throat> they don't know how to, to take and say, hey, I know that this specific combination of headline, ad text, image, link description, call to action, and audience pairing, and even say we segment down to the eighth group, however it is, that this is the best performing, you know, ad that we're going to be able to get the best cost out of. And I don't think you can ever find the best. I think you always have to strive, test, continuously, you know, split test everything and keep building and looping and finding. And there's a lot of ways to do that. And once again, it gets into audience targeting and we'll do that. But this video ad course is intended to make things which are usually pretty difficult to, to, to maybe understand, such as like how do you group your ad sets or ads within the ad sets within the campaign. Well, you know, we can use tools. And one of the tools that we're going to use throughout this campaign is going to be Ad Espresso. And it's a tool that helps people. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like for CRM, like a Salesforce or a uh, email client such as a MailChimp or AWeber or uh, landing pages such as ClickFunnels. It, it, it's simply another tool that layers on top of Facebook that allows you to control, manage, and to visually see data that's coming back from all of your campaigns. And this is really important because we're gonna take these little squiggly lines that's all over the place and we're gonna say, hey, this matters. These three KPIs, which KPIs stand for key performance indicators, such as CPC, which is cost per click, uh, CTR, which is uh, click-through rate, or CPA again, which is your cost per acquisition. I'm talking about a lead in this example. So, Everything matters, and, and we have to look at a lot of different factors, uh, how our ads are performing, what's the feedback from our audience, is it positive, is it negative, what's our relevant score? And our relevant score is very important because it's, it's going to determine how much we're paying in order to, to broadcast our message, and certainly we want the lowest cost, um, and that's what we will focus on in this course. So really... Take each of the lessons that we go through. Initially, we're going to look at the fundamentals and how you're going to be able uh, to, to, to understand the different elements and the pieces when we go to putting campaigns together, all the way through building the campaigns to seeing them to, uh, through to profitability. So uh, do practice, and uh, if you have any questions, you have a simple question. Thank you.